She is a banker by day and a fighter by night, and she hopes to make it to the Olympics. Jory Rand is here now to introduce you to her. New at 6. Jory? Yeah, Stacy, this one's pretty cool. It's like we've got our own Clark Kent right here in Pittsburgh. In her daytime job, Jennifer Chang is just as unassuming as Superman's alter ego. But when the sun begins to go down and she changes out of her business clothes and into her boxing gear, it's almost like the power of Superman has been unleashed from this tiny banker. On the ninth floor of the BNY Mellon building in downtown Pittsburgh, you'll find the desk of Jennifer Chang. I help manage BNY Mellon's global subsidiaries cash. Here in her quiet office, as she calmly types away, you'd never know there's a fire brewing. But each evening, Jennifer leaves this world of finance behind and enters another world. Well, she may not look like a boxer. I don't. <laughs> I get a lot of crap about that, too. <laughs> They're like, what are you doing? Like, you're so pretty to box. What are you doing in the ring trying to mess your face up? <laughs> I mean, boxing, it's definitely, you know, it's not for everyone if you don't have the heart for it. Jennifer clearly has the heart for it. Half Filipino, half Micronesian, she only began boxing a few years back as a hobby to feel closer to her Pacific Island roots where contact sports are the norm. It started off as an outlet because most of the people in the Pacific where I grew up, you know, family and friends, they're really into any type of MMA sport, any type of pretty much physical contact sport. And Jennifer has quickly gone Double it up. from casual boxer to U.S. Olympic hopeful. My top goal, my main objective with boxing is to make the Olympic team. So that's like all I have in my head. There's no other focus that I have. No intention of going professional before I make the Olympics. A little more experience uh, fighting, and um, I think we'll make it to the 2016 Olympics. One, two, roll. <laughs> Darren Dolby would know, a former boxer himself who retired right, undefeated. Keep working. Dolby has coached junior Olympians and national champions, including Pittsburgh's own Tika Hemingway. She got what it takes to uh, win a uh, championship or gold medal, I think. You know, a little, a little more, um, more experience, and then we'll be there for the 16 Olympics. In the meantime, you can find Dolby and Jennifer hard at work at downtown Pittsburgh's Second Street Gym. Everyone helps each other out. Um, it's a small family. And if you're watching this story thinking wow. someone that looks like that can't do things like this, that's just fine with her. I don't think that a fighter has a certain type of look. <laughs> And that it, it probably works to their benefit because then other people would underestimate you and then, you know, and then all of a sudden it's like... <laughs> Good stuff there. Jennifer had initially hoped to box in the 2012 Olympics. That was the first time they even had women's boxing as an Olympic event, but she had just had her son in 2011. So she took nine months off, but it didn't take long to get back in the ring after her son was born, guys. She was back in there two weeks wow. after giving son? birth Looking to like her that? son wow. to get back in there to start training for 2016, and the journey has begun. You have to be nice to her. <laughs> There's no question. We were. We, yeah, we weren't absolutely. messing around. Uh, no, she wants to go to the Olympics. How, how does she get there from here? Yeah, right now, it's just getting as many fights in. I mean, she's still relatively new to the sport, right. so it's just get as many fights in as you can until 2015. That's when the qualifying tournaments begin. If she can make it through there, make it to the Nationals, it's on her way to, to uh, the 2016 Games. Wow. We'll keep okay. our eye out on her. She's fabulous. She yes, she is. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> now right. you know, you know what you can do in your spare time. <laughs> yeah, right. She was doing it on <laughs> the whole piece of what she could do. You can do that, I think. <laughs> All right, Jory. Yeah.